Hello, my name is Nathaniel. And today we will be viewing the composition of functions involving inverse trigonometric functions. The problem I have here today is inverse cosine of cosine of 5 pi over 4. So this is the problem here. Now before we attempt to solve this or evaluate it, we must look at the domain of restricted cosine. So for reference, the domain of restricted cosine is from 0 to pi. And in degrees, this is 0 degrees to 180 degrees. Now, the first thing that we can do is find out if the input value of 5 pi over 4 is within the domain of restricted cosine. Now, if this value is within the domain of restricted cosine, then the actual value of this entire problem is 5 pi over 4. But that will be just our luck. So we just have to find out whether or not this is true. Now, if you have a calculator nearby and you divide 5 by 4, you'll get 1.25. So what this means is this value here is 1.25 pi. Now 1.25 pi is not within the domain of 0 to pi. So what do we do next? Well, this is where reference angles comes in handy. So what we can do now is actually find the true value of cosine of 5 pi over 4. Now, if you do this, cosine of 5 pi over 4, and by the way, 5 pi over 4 is equivalent to 225 degrees, and this is equal to negative square root of 2 over 2 right so now we find the reference angle and in order to find this reference angle we will take 5 pi over 4 and subtract uh, subtract that from or rather I should say subtract pi from 5 pi over 4 and what you'll get is 5 pi over 4 minus 4, if I can get a 4 here, 4 pi over 4, which equals pi over 4. Now this is our reference angle right here. It's pi over 4. Now pi over 4 um, almost satisfies what we're looking for. Now pi over 4 is the reference angle. And it is in quadrant one, meaning it is within the restricted domain of cosine. But what we need for cosine is a negative, a negative x value or, or negative cosine. Now, in order to take this reference angle that is in quadrant one, and what we want to do is transfer this. We want to transfer this value into quadrant 2 so that we can get and achieve this negative cosine value. So in order to do this, what we do is we take 180 degrees or pi, which I have right here, and we subtract the reference angle of pi over 4 from pi. And what we'll get after doing this is 4 pi over 4 minus pi over 4, which is 3 pi over 4, which is 135 degrees. So this is the answer to our original problem here. 
But let's do a little bit of a, a further and more thorough explanation to why this is. So back to our original problem, which was inverse cosine of cosine of 5 pi over 4 and the answer to this is 135 degrees so how do we get this and this is also equal to 3 pi over 4 radians so we need to check and see if this actually satisfies the inverse properties now, according to the inverse property, cosine, inverse cosine of cosine x is equal to x only if x is in the interval interval of 0 to pi right so the value that we have achieved is 3 pi over 4 now if you divide 3 or if you divide 3 by 4 you get 0.75 so what this means is this value here is 0.75 pi and 0.75 pi is within the domain of restricted cosine which is 0 to pi and some of you may be confused as how 0.75 pi is less than pi well here's why for pi there's an imaginary coefficient of 1 so pi is the same as 1 pi. Now this here would be 0.7 pi. Now 0.7, oh, 0.75 pi. And 0.75 pi is less than 1 pi. And for that reason, this value is within the domain of restricted cosine. Now, because this value here is within the domain of restricted cosine, this is essentially x and therefore according to the inverse property of inverse cosine and cosine then the answer must also be x and that is why you have 135 as your answer now i'll rewrite it so that it makes slightly so now it'll make a little bit more sense so here we have um inverse cosine of cosine of 3 pi over 4 so this is the exact same thing as what we started off with which was inverse cosine of cosine of 5 pi over 4 there we go so i hope you've learned something in this video and if you have any questions please comment or private message me i do not mind i'll get to it as soon as possible please subscribe and like this video and make sure to have a nice day